Hello everyone, my name is David Lee and I am a Wix certified trainer. And today I'd like to give you a quick tutorial on how to easily create a stunning website with Wix.com. Without further ado, let's get started. First go to Wix.com and then click on the Start Now button. Here you can sign up via Facebook or Google Plus or you can type in your email address. Make sure to choose the I'm a new user option and then type in your password. After clicking go, retype your email address and password and then sign up. Now you have the option to choose a template. Choose a category that best fits your website. For example, if you want a website that showcases your music and promotes your band, you can click on music. I'm currently in need of a professional education website, so I will go ahead and click on other. Here you are provided with numerous stylish website templates based on your category. Scroll through all the pages and find a template you like best. You have the option to first view a template to get a sense of how it will look live on the web. I really like the layout of this site, so I will go ahead and click on the edit button in the corner. For me, my favorite functionality in Wix is the drag and drop feature of any element you see on a page. No coding required. Simply drag and drop text, images, menus, and galleries to any location you want. You'll be given options to manipulate it however you wish. Let's first start with the page background. You can click on the background and change the page design here or the page background here. Page background allows you to change the color, image, or video of the background. Wix provides awesome stock photos and videos for you to use for your background. I have a video I made that I would love to use, so I will click on video. Upload videos, select the video, upload it, then click change background. The size limit for the video is 50 megabytes. We can now preview our site here to see the video background in action. You can also find the background options in the menu bar on the left. Now I want to change the title of the website. Let me first ungroup these text boxes. Double click on the text box or click on edit text. You can change the font, font size, resize the text boxes using the lines and small circles. You can group elements by selecting multiple items. With the Mac, hold command and click. For PCs, hold control and click. After selecting multiple elements, the Group Elements button will appear. You can also choose to animate your elements as well. You can delete an element by clicking on it and then pressing Delete on your keyboard. Let's go ahead and save what we have so far. Now to add the logo of my site. I will go to the Add section on the left, go to Image, my image uploads and then select an image. You can also upload an image from your computer. Seeing that there's some extra space here, I'm going to add a photo gallery. To do this, go back to add, gallery, and select a gallery. I'll add the slideshow strip and place it at the top. Click on it to change the images and add effects. Upload or select your images and then click Done. In Settings, you have the option to autoplay and indicate the amount of seconds between each image. I kind of want a filtered effect to my images in this slideshow. What I can do is add a strip background. You have a lot of elegantly designed strips, but for my purposes, I'm going to choose the classic white and then place it over my slideshow. 
click on change strip background, go to settings, and then change the opacity. You can also include a video from YouTube or Vimeo. Double click on the video and search a video or type in the URL of a specific video. You have the option to autoplay, loop, and also take away controls. There will be times when you want an element and everything below it to go up or down. To do this, click on the element or elements and drag the drag handle. As you can see, everything below what you selected gets dragged up or down. You can view all your web pages up here. Rearrange any of the pages and rename them by double clicking. You can add a page here. Change its info like the name. Hide it from the menu or set it as your home page. You can also choose the layout, add restrictions, and add SEO information to help people better find your page on search engines. I want this blog page to be fifth in the menu at the top. Simply click here and drag the page to the specific location. Wix allows you to integrate a blog into your site. Go back to add, blog, and choose a layout. Manage your blog here or add a new blog post. If you have social media accounts for your brand or company, I recommend going to add, social, and then adding a social bar. Here you also have the option to include cool social media widgets and buttons. Drag the social bar into any location. Click set social links and then add a link to each icon. You don't have to use these icons. You can upload your own if you have them on your computer. Up next is the very popular Wix app market. Here you can insert apps that enriches your website and provides more functionalities. For example, you can add a chat feature, an online store, booking features, apps for restaurants, marketing, and even music. Right now, I'll show you how to add the Instagram app. But first I will need to decide which page I would like to place it in. I think I will place it under the work page. The crossed out eye here indicates that you can't see the page in the top menu. Okay, now I'm ready to add my Instagram app. Click on social and find the app. Click on settings, then connect account and type in your username and password. In settings, you can change the layout, additional settings, and design. Now every time you upload a picture on Instagram, it will automatically appear here. These type of widgets can be powerful tools. If your web page is really long, I recommend inserting an anchor menu like this one. Go to Add, Menu, Scroll down to Anchor Menus and select one. Visitors can navigate your page with just a simple click. Wix also allows you to edit the mobile version of your site. Click here and switch to Mobile View. Here you can optimize the look of your site when seen on a smartphone or tablet. Now that we are done, it is time to publish the site. Now your website is live. All this is free. You do have the option to upgrade your site here. You can connect your site to a professional domain and also remove the Wix brand ads you will find on the free version. One last thing is site history. Go to site and site history. Here you can go back in time to view or restore any version of your site that you've ever saved or published. So make sure you save your work frequently. 
You can check out my website, davidleeedtech.org, to see the awesome potential of Wix.com. The link is in the description below. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Click the like button if you enjoyed the tutorial, and please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.